Hey there everybody, it's the Gare Bear here and welcome to the channel One Brain Four Wheels. As you can see today, we have the 2016 Corvette Stingray. Um, and I kind of wanted to just focus this video on something I kind of gave you guys a sneak peek uh, a few months ago now on a really big mod um, that I think you guys are going to like. Um, I kind of mentioned it on one of the C7 Corvette forums on Facebook and uh, it kind of got a hit and miss um, reaction. I would say most people don't like the upgrade but it doesn't really matter because I like it. Um, I think it makes the car a little bit more unique, a little bit more special. Um, and so I think without further ado, uh, we're going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. So. I have my uh, camera assistant, you want to come up a little bit, and I gave you guys the hint, it was the doors, we're going to open it up, nothing too special, but then, ah, boom, Lambo doors, but yeah, so here it is, it's the Lambo doors, um, yeah, I think this is really cool, I'm going to kind of demonstrate real quick one thing that I like, so I'm about 6'3", and as you can see, it's just so easy to get in and out of the car now. You know, I've got all the space for my legs. And, uh, you know, it's, just, it's easy to um, ingress and egress out of the car. And, uh, you know, this can kind of get a little bit in the way. But, you know, I have broad shoulders. It's fine. Um, but, yeah, so just kind of get some details on this. Uh, this is the Vertical Doors, Inc. They're out of Southern California. Um, that is their Lambo or scissor door kit. They make some, I think like the ZLR door kits that kind of swing up and out, but uh, this is just the classic Lambo. Um, for me, uh, I kind of got a good deal, I think. So I only spent a thousand dollars on the kit. Um, I think for the kit for the C7 Stingrays, it's retail $1,600 or 1700 Uh, don't pay that. Uh, just email them directly. Don't buy it on like some third party. Um, you can get a better deal. Okay. As for the install, I'll make a whole other video about some problems I've had with the kit so far since I've had them for a couple months now. Sorry for the delay in making the video. Um, but yeah, so when I had him installed, the guy that uh, did it for me, he was like really awesome. Eric um, out of uh, Top Gun Automotive Reconditioning um, in Rockland, California. If you ever need him to do any work on your car, he's the man to go see. Um, but yeah, he actually had to modify this kit a little bit for me. Um, and like I said, next video, I'll talk more about why he had to do that and how he modified it. Um, but overall, you know, it's really cool. It makes the car obviously very unique. Um, you know, other people have this kit on their car, but not that many people. So it's a little special. And like I said before, I don't really care other people's opinions that much. Um, you know, it's always cool when someone says, hey, that's neat. But, you know, if other people, you know, online or whatever say, you know, that's dumb, you ruined your car. Um, you know, I didn't ruin it because I like it. So that's all that matters. Um, but yeah, it's really cool, a little special, a little different, and it actually does serve a purpose as well. Um, it's easier to get in and out, you know, long legs. Um, but yeah, let me uh, know what you guys think in the comments below. If you know, if you like this upgrade, if you would do it on your car, um, they make them for a whole bunch of different vehicles. Um, some cars, I think, you know, this suits it better than others. I some people go on like a Honda Civic or something, and that's, you know, to each their own, but that's not really me, but I like it on this car. Share a little upgrade with you guys and i hope you guys enjoy it if you like the video give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe uh, for more little modifications to the corvette or the suburban or any other car i might get in the future who knows um, and if you want a little sneak uh, preview on any of the upgrades like you can see I did this a long time ago if you follow me on instagram at garebear villegas uh, i'll have a link to that in the description below and i'll have it pop up somewhere in here um, but yeah uh, thank you guys for watching so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. And tune in next time for another special little modification. Uh, who knows what we'll do. I, I want to do something with paint now. But also maybe the exhaust. So I'm not sure. But we'll see. Have a good day, guys. Thanks. Yeah, so I figured it might be a good idea to go ahead and give you guys a little walk around so you can see what it looks like from all the angles. But uh, yeah, you know, it, just, it looks really neat. Um, it's definitely different. Um, you know, I think it gives the Corvette her wings to fly. Um, but yeah, I just think, you know, it makes it special. And, uh, you know, if you're the type of person that, you know, wants a little bit of a reaction, you know, every single time you get gas or something. And you don't have to open these doors open like this all the way, by the way, to get in and out. Um, you know, you can just open them like normal. They open up to a certain extent, um, you know, so you don't have to do this every time. But, you know, if you like a little reaction, you know, like you like people to come up and ask you questions about your car, then this is a good modification to get that to happen. 
um, because people will come up and they'll ask, you know, what kind of car is that? Or do they come like this nowadays? Um, and you know, it just starts a conversation and that's kind of fun. And that's kind of part of the reason why I started this channel in the first place. Okay, I can kind of show you guys how you can actually open and close these. So I usually just grab onto the little latch that's built into the door and you just pull it straight down. And as you can see, it opens a pretty good amount. Um, it kind of stops right about there, kind of springs back and forth. Um, and if you also notice, the door will start to close on itself now. Um, that's because it doesn't have door stops because the, the hinges are changed out. Um, but yes, and then I just kind of grab onto here and shut it and it's closed now. And then just to open it, you go back like this and this is plenty of room to get in and out. Or if you want to look cool, open it up all the way, let it go straight up. And that's how you do it.